Hey there, I'm Arrozi, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, let's continue where we left off. I have enough Elerium to start Advanced Servo Motors project. That will help my mobility a little bit. At least for my mechs and potentially for my assaults as well. So, let's keep scanning then. A lot of soldiers are returning. And very large. Oh, that's going to be a terror mission in South America from the looks of it. Okay then, well Argentina is going to leave the council this month, so that means yet another alien base assault in Argentina next month, probably. Unless I get a council mission with panic reduction in Argentina, which can happen. But anyway, let's focus on this mission then. I could bring Marcos as my officer. Let's see, I'll need a fairly strong squad since this is a terror mission. I'll bring Ivan to this one. What's going to be the mech? Hulk or bagels? Let's bring Hulk to this one. Now I need the scout and the medic. As always. So Girard, does he need sonic experience? Yes, he does. Okay, so Girard is coming. I'll need a scout. I could bring a master sergeant scout. But I could bring this guy. Ask his experience. Not that great, but... I want to get Master Sergeant for him eventually. Three more slots. I'm going to need at least one good gunner. So let's see. Is Kelly fatigued or not? She shouldn't be. I see Sen. No, I think she's fatigued or wounded or something like that. Where is she? Yeah, she's still fatigued for three more days. But I could bring Sen. 86 aim. And double tap. Yeah, okay. And I could bring Kostya. He is rapid fire with heat ammo. That works. And one more person. A sniper maybe? Yeah, sniper would be quite useful. Or an assault. I can't bring both. Unless I kick out one of my gunners, which I don't want to. I might pass an assault for this mission. I definitely want a sniper, that's for sure. I'll pass an assault then. What's going to be the sniper? I could bring someone who needs experience. What about this guy? Yeah, he's pretty good. And he has snapshot. So that works. Make items available. Alright, that's our squad then. Is he psionic? No, he's not. Right, no neural gun link for him then. But he has 100 aim already. And he's only a tech sergeant. That's quite impressive. So, scope, obviously. And... He can keep the battle scanner. I could give him enhanced beam optics, which is not a terrible idea. I can't give him neural gun link. He will only have 10 hit points. Maybe I should give him chitin plating. Okay, chitin plating and blaster. That's 13 hit points. A little bit better. Next up, Kostya. So, auto blaster. Aegis Armor, Armor Piercing, Scope, and I could give him Neural Gun Link if I want to, that's probably not a bad idea. Or I can give him Enhanced Beam Optics, he has 29 well. Okay, Enhanced Beam Optics it is then. Next up, Sen, so Gatling Pulsar. Armor piercing, alloy bipod, and a scope, same as always, for Gatling Pulsar Gunner. Titan armor. Should I give him a carbine? Yeah, maybe. His aim is not that great, and I could use some kills on him. Okay, he is psionic, so I can give him ghost grenades. I definitely will. I need some ghost grenades for this. I could give him ghost grenades, side grenades and chem grenades all at the same time. He will only have 15 hit points, which is not amazing. But it should be good enough. Should be good enough. Okay, next up, Girard. He's pretty close to the next Sonic tier. Titan armor. Oh, I don't think Annette is fatigued anymore, which means I should start her training. 
Right, let's check that real quick. I won't lose these changes. I'm pretty sure she's not fatigued anymore. Or is she? Yeah, she's not fatigued anymore. She needs to train the next tier. So... Oh, what? I need to pick this? Yeah, Psy Panic. Really? She needs to train Psy Panic? That's weird. Oh, right, that's because... Neural... whatever, got moved to tier 1. What is that called? Yeah, Neural Feedback got moved to tier 1 and she had that in tier 2. Hey, that's awesome! I wanted Psy Panic on her. Anyway, back to the mission. So, Girard. I could give him the Storm Gun. That might be useful. Right, more medkits. This is a terror mission. I'll give him more medkits. I might need them. Next time, Hulk. Same as always. Pulse Lance, Grenade Launcher. Flamethrower. Battle Computer. And Alloy Belt. And last but not least, Ivan. Pulse Rifle. Oh yeah, I could give him Neural Gun Link and the Scope. And his aim will be amazing with that. And what else? One more slot. I could give him Enhanced Beam Optics. Okay, that works. That's a pretty good setup. And one more, actually. Marcos. Titan Armor. Oh, he needs the Storm Gun. Not Girar. Yeah, because otherwise his mobility will be just awful. Girard's mobility is still at 13, which is not great, but this dot will be like at 8 or something, or even worse than that. He definitely needs the storm gun, no question about that. Let's bring an extra shader rocket and a scope. Wow, yeah, without the storm gun his mobility would be just dreadful. <laughs> That's the worst mobility ever, 7 mobility? Yeah. That's still pretty awful, even with the Storm Gun. 10 mobility with the Storm Gun? I definitely want to keep the Titan Armor though. He's an officer after all. And only 16 hit points with the Titan Armor. Anyway, we're ready, so let's go. Are we there yet? Yeah, this was totally the fastest way to get there. Not. Alright, which map is this? I'm not quite sure yet. We'll find out soon enough. Well, let's move then. We're waiting. So, which map is this? Oh, I think I know which map this is. Right, yeah. Okay. It's not too bad. Argentina will almost definitely leave the council unless I save all 18 civilians, which is pretty much impossible. So, I'm not going to play this very aggressively. I mostly care about not losing anyone or not getting wounded too much. So, let's see. Sniper. Yeah, this dose mobility is not amazing. He can stay here. But no steady weapon yet. He has snapshot. I could save a civilian right now on this turn, but that would be a little bit too dangerous for my taste. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay, I triggered a group. Sector commander, mechtoid, and outsider. Okay, that's a little bit weird. How do I want to do this? Can I kill them? Probably not. Unless I get really lucky. I can do some damage to the mechtoid if I want to. Might be nice to do some damage to the sectoid. But that's unlikely. I can get holo targeting up. That's only 18% chance to hit. That's so low. Oh, I actually hit. Okay. 7 damage. I could launch a grenade, but this will not destroy his cover. I don't think so. Actually, it might. Maybe I should have done that first. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure it won't destroy his cover, but I'm going to launch the grenade anyway. Because it will do some damage. Free damage. Okay, it did destroy his cover. That means I can kill him 85% and 100% chance to crit. If I hit, that will be a kill. Nice one. Okay, Mectoid. I can't kill the Mectoid. But I can position myself for the next turn. So, Sen goes here and hunker down. Ivan can use Overwatch. What about Kostya? He can't do a whole lot. And Girar. I could throw a grenade, but I don't think I need one. No, I'll be fine. Famous last words. Overwatch. There's not a lot of room left. Kostya will have to stay in the back, or he can stay here. Okay. As for Marcos. Probably hunker down. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. And there's no point using Shader Rocket or anything like that on this turn. I can use one on the next turn. There is one more Sector Commander. I'll probably use a Shader Rocket. Target's still up. Yeah, target's still up. And whose fault is it? Yeah, they will kill the civilians. 21 hit points on that sectoid. More aliens? Yep. That's a pretty big group of seekers. But I have, what, three or four battle scanners? They didn't even go invisible, which is kind of weird. One down already. Okay. 21 hit points on that sector commander. But I definitely need to kill him. And I want to kill the Seekers, too. I do have a rocket launcher. Hmm. I'm not too sure how I want to use that rocket launcher. <laughs> good question, very good question. I want to kill the Mectoid, that's kind of important. So, let's see. Where's that Mectoid? Oh, I can't actually reach the Mectoid, really? I can only reach the Sector Commander. Okay, that's still fine. I'll take that shot. 11 damage. I can kill that Sector Commander, no problem. Hmm. Hulk. Ivan. Oh, 94% chance to hit. And 70% chance to crit. Let's take that shot. And he's dead. Okay, good. I think I'll have to ignore that mectoid for one more turn. I think so. Yeah, I want to get rid of these sectoids. Uh, I mean, seekers. So let's see. 47, 57. That's kind of bad. But 100% on the mectoid. What about Kostya? That mectoid is an overwatch? No, it's not. So, Kostya. If I move around a little bit, I could use rapid fire on the mectoid with Kostya. That should do some really good damage. If I'm close enough. No, I don't think I'm close enough. Nope, I'm not. Okay, whatever. I'll kill the Seekers then. Hopefully. I need that Mectoid to move towards me. Or I need to move towards it myself. 58% chance. Yeah, okay, let's use Cypanic. Why not? And that actually worked. <laughs> Well, that Mectoid won't be a problem anymore, that's for sure. Let's kill the Seekers and then I can take care of the Mectoid. I can move towards it, just not too much. I don't want to trigger yet another group. But I can start doing some damage. What's that flanking shot? Oh, right, I totally forgot about that Outsider. Okay, 12 crit. Can I kill that Outsider? Maybe, maybe not. Possibly. I probably can. Yeah, I can. Alright, let's kill him then. Back to Seekers. Sen has one more shot. 11 hit points. Let's target the Seeker with the most hit points. So this one. And I missed. But I got holo targeting up. Should still kill this one first. 
So kill this one. That was Ivan's second shot. I still got Marcos. I caught the other rocket launcher. To kill the Seekers. That seems like a bit of a waste. But it will give me two guaranteed kills. And I'll have two more rockets anyway. And a Shadow Rocket, I'll do it. Guaranteed kills, so I'll take it. Okay, so back to the Mechtoid now. He's panicked, so it can't do anything. And I should save at least one civilian. There are some civilians on the roof. Yep, another group is coming. This one looks pretty dangerous. Full group of heavy floaters. Almost a full group of heavy floaters. I saw one regular floater. And they are flanking me right now. Stop yelling. You'll be fine. Maybe. No promises. Okay. Heavy floaters. That's a pretty nasty group, actually. How do I want to handle this? I do have ghost grenades. So I could use them. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. I think I'll use ghost grenades here. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. Okay, I can do something like this. Move my scout all the way over here. And then move as many people as possible to this small area. Take a few shots and then throw a ghost grenade at the end of my turn. So that's the plan. I should be able to kill at least one floater easily. 57%. Kind of low. 21. That's better. Let's take that shot. Okay, nice. No double tap on this turn, unfortunately, which is okay. Now, can I take a shot with Ivan? Yes, I can. He will get the ghost grenade. So I'll move over here. He's running low on ammunition. 64%, sure, I'll take it. Missed. Didn't have holo targeting on that one. I should have waited with that shot, actually. Kostya. Only two targets. Only 26%. Okay, that's kind of low. What else can I do? Hulk. He can get ghost grenade as well. Sure, I can ignore the Mechtoid for now. It's still panicking. I can kill the Mechtoid later. Yeah, this is kind of low. Oh, I bet he has tactical sense. Yeah, he has tactical sense. That's always annoying. These are tough to kill. Well, I might as well be all rapid fire then. At least I'll get holo targeting. And maybe I'll hit once. Okay, I didn't hit even once. But at least I got holo targeting. Now I could use a rocket launcher, but I think I'll do it on the next turn instead. Or I could do it on both if I want to. This would be pretty good damage. If I use a rocket launcher like this. Okay, let's use a rocket launcher. Okay, not bad. Could have been better. But decent. Anyone else? Oh yeah, I still got this guy. I can kill one heavy floater, can I? Can I actually see it? No. Okay. I can't see the one at six hit points, apparently. Okay, whatever. I'll just hit that Mechtoid because that's a guaranteed hit. And I'll need to kill that Mechtoid sooner or later. Alright. So, one more shot. I could launch a grenade. Which might be enough. No, I can't launch it far enough. 47%. That's slow. But I'll take that shot. Okay, 7 damage. Decent. And Girar. Now I could use Mind Fray, maybe. I guess I can. 24%. 82%. Okay, 82% is solid. Let's do that. It worked. Didn't kill a single floater, but I did some decent damage. Now I can give Ghost Grenade to everyone. Like this. And I'll have one more Ghost Grenade after this. I don't think anyone here has Close Command Specialist. 
so I want to lose stealth. I don't have an assault. I don't think Hulk has close combat specialist. I don't think it will matter. Yes, come closer. Make it easier for me. Thanks. That's a regular floater. I can hear a cyber disc. Come on. And one more. Okay, decent target for a rocket launcher. I need that mechtoid to move towards me, but it won't while well, it's still panicking. Come on. Give me my turn already. Alright, here we are. I can't see the mechtoid anymore. Do I want to use one more ghost grenade? Probably not. Which means I should spread out. Yep. Okay, let's do that then. Not taking a shot until I get holo targeting up. Now I got double tap. Let's see, 61, 61. I need holo targeting up on this guy. He's the one with tactical sense, which is so annoying. Negative damage. And okay, one more. This guy, this guy, 61% is not too bad. Okay, 11 damage. I might have to use Ghost Grenade one more time. That's just the easiest way to do this. I think I will. So, Rocket Launcher again. Or do I want to use Shredder Rocket instead? I can hit three Heavy Floaters easily, and this will do good damage. On the other hand, I can also hit them with Shredder Rocket. I should have used Shredder Rocket first, but better late than never, right? Okay, let's use Shredder Rocket. This will allow me to do more damage. Now they are all shredded. Surely I can kill at least one or two. Maybe I shouldn't have moved with Ivan. I can still move back in. Anyway, you know what I can do. Flamethrower. Okay. Combined with the Shredded Effect, that will be tons of damage. That's one of the reasons why I used Shredded Effect right here. I can only hit three Heavy Floaters, but this will do massive damage. This should hit the one on the left. At least he was highlighted red. No, apparently I didn't hit him. Oh well. I hit the other two. That was still 24 damage. Now. Costia. I still want to kill the one closest to me, if possible. 50%. Come on, dude, hit at least once. There we go, 12 damage. He's down to 7 hit points. Surely I can kill it. Girard? Yeah, 36%. I could take a shot with Ivan. Alright, let's do it. He'll be fine without Ghost Grenade. And I missed. Really, dude? You miss with 84%? Come on, now. Well, so much for that kill. Girard? Yeah, it's not like I'm going to hit this one. But let's try anyway. Yeah, missed. As expected. That's so annoying. 53%. Low. But I kind of need this kill. Or I want this kill. <laughs> there we go. 18 damage was a bit of an overkill, but I don't mind. And that's it. My turn is done. Time for another ghost grenade. Hulk will take some damage, but... That's fine. He's my most tanky mech. He can take a few hits. He'll be fine. Oh, Sectopod. That's a pretty big Sectopod right there. And that Mechtoid is still there. I need to be careful. He's not panicking anymore. He will kill some civilians. That's a lot of aliens at the same time. Yeah, I won't be saving a lot of civilians in this mission. <laughs> I need to focus on, you know, actually killing the aliens. That's usually a good idea, I'm just saying. Wow, yeah, that's a pretty big sectopod. That will be interesting. I need to kill everything else, and fast. So... Okay, Ivan is 
out of ammo, and he needs to move, otherwise he might get flanked by that Mechtoid. The problem here is that there's just not a lot of cover, and I can get flanked from almost any direction here. At least I'm in the corner of the map, so that's helpful-ish. Alright. 100%. So that's a kill. Don't really care about the drone. Let's get that kill first. Bye. No more ghost grenades, so I can't go invisible. 61%. Alright, let's get that kill, hopefully, maybe. Now, at least I'll holo targeting. Hmm, I could reload with Ivan and stay here. Does he have resilience? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yes, he is immune to critical hits, so I could stay here. And even if he gets flanked by the Mechtoid, he can take some damage, and I have a lot of medkits. Alright, I'm going to do that. So 94%, don't miss this time. Okay, it's a kill. No now, I need to reload. And I need to take care of that Mechtoid. So I need to spread out. I guess I'll have to use this as cover. I want to have cover against that Mechtoid. I'm just saying. I can see the Mechtoid. Can I actually destroy it on this turn? If I get lucky-ish. Also, there is one more heavy floater in the back. Which might be a bit of a problem. Not sure if I can kill that heavy floater. Yeah. Probably not. Reload. No, I don't think I can kill that heavy floater. I shouldn't be here. 43%. Even if I hit, that won't be a kill. Can anyone else take a shot? No, I would have to leave someone in the open. Which is a pretty terrible idea. Costia. Let's try like this. No. Well, reload. Marcos, he can move closer. I can use Overwatch. But... It's unlikely that I'll do 9 damage with reaction shots. And Girard. It might be time for a smoke grenade right now. But how exactly do I want to throw it? Good question. Does he have dense smoke? No, he has combat drugs. So like this for now? I guess so. Alright, let's use it like this. Most of these people only have partial cover. With the exception of my sniper, who has low profile. Do I want to keep my scout here or move? I probably want to move out of the way. Okay, he'll be safe in there. Overwatch. So, that sectopod. That's a pretty big sectopod. That might be slightly problematic. But I do have two soldiers. With hit ammo. So we'll see. I used my only shadow rocket though. And that heavy floater is still going to be annoying. I need to kill that heavy floater first. And then the mechtoid. Here's the sectopod. Yeah, that's a pretty big sectopod. It's not the biggest sectopod. But he's a squad leader. Yeah, 7 damage. Can he target anyone else? No, he can't. Come on, give me my turn. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.